<laughs> yo, 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 people, what is going on? This is a gay sparkler, and welcome back to the episode of Would You Rather with Face Cam. Woohoo! You're not Face Cam. I'm Face Cam. <laughs> Hi, my name is Face Cam. So I think that it'd be uh, good to get someone else in here because different opinions are awesome. You get to see the way the mind works because I can almost guarantee you that she might have different answers. Maybe. I'm not sure. All right, so first question on the board is, would you rather have your face on the $1 bill or have your face on the $100 bill? The, the one, $1 bill. The, 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 the $1 the, bill. The, 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 the two. The two. I'll take two. <laughs> so you want the $1 bill? Yes. Why do you want the $1 bill? Because it, you see it more often. You are correct. I will go with have my face on the one dollar bill because then everybody will be like, "Oh, look at Zach!" and it'll be like this, and they'll be like, "Pay with it," and everybody will be happy. Look, see, but see, more people would have their face on a hundred dollar bill. Why do you think that they would rather have their face on a hundred dollar bill? Because it mean, they think it means more, but it really doesn't. And I've never, I've seen like ten people carry around a hundred dollar bill. Would you rather change your religion or change your political party? Political party. I would definitely have to go with political party. Definitely. Wow. 187,000 people would rather change their religion than their... That's some hardcore political people. That's some crazy... Oh, would you rather own a mini, mini horse, horse or a regular horse? Mini horse. Definitely. Why? Because they're cute when they're mini. But then they get like all gross and their stomach gets big and they don't, don't look care. right. They are Like their proportions are weird. Their and proportions are super weird. Don't care. Definitely the mini horse. I guess you could say because it eats less and it takes up less space. It doesn't poop as much. It might though. Ew, what if it did the like poop regular size? size? Is the same. Ew, oh, it'd be like, stop pooping! <laughs> <laughs> wow, everybody would rather have a regular horse. Why would you have a regular horse? So they can ride it. You Look can at ride my pony. Would you rather be in a no named rock band, aka you just get together and play instruments with your friends, or be in a wildly popular kids band like the Wiggles? I'd love to be in the Wiggles. What's the Wiggles? The Wiggles <laughs> are like the dudes that have like the purple shirts and the green shirts and the yellow shirt and the red shirt, and they're like, oh, I like to party, and they're like the famous British dudes. I would rather be in a no named rock band. Basically, the Wiggles is like um, the dude from Blues Clues, but like in a band. A uh, no named rock band. I would definitely rather be in the Wiggles. Boom! You're in a no-name... Why would you want to be in a no-name rock band? All it is is just you're playing around with your friends. Yeah, but that's what I would obviously would rather do than play... I'd rather play for kids. Humpty Dumpty, whatever. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather face a zombie attack or face a shark attack? Um, zombie attack. But, but what if they are like the I Am Legend zombies where they're fast and retardedly smart? Well... Yeah, they will get you. A they shark attack. Will, but you could still die from a shark attack. Well, the thing underneath says survival not guaranteed. So you could live. I mean, a shark attack. A shark. I mean, man, your limbs are coming off in a shark attack. Like, it doesn't matter. It's just like. You're losing something. You're just. Oh, no! No, I'd rather do a zombie I think I'd rather face a zombie attack, too. It doesn't matter what. That's just scary. Like, imagine running and they're all coming out. Oh, look at that. 75. Yay! Would you rather burp extremely loudly for every 30 seconds or, ill let out a smelly, long-lasting fart every five minutes? <laughs> um, I'd rather burp. Assume that both come with the gagging stench, but especially the farts. Mmm, I would definitely have to go with burp. Yeah, I'd rather burp. Because, I mean, you could, like, close your mouth or, like, wear a sign around your neck that says, Caution, I'm like a human gas pit. <laughs> B, would you rather, oh, why didn't they just say would you rather be an unknown superhero or a famous villain? <laughs> God bless you. Is it what? Would you rather be sneezing every time we record <laughs> or? I would rather be a famous villain. Really? You yes. evil. Yes. Give me back the ring. We're done. No. You need to be an unknown. You'd rather be an unknown rock band, but you will not be an unknown superhero. Yes. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. I'd just be cool to be a villain. I'd like to be a villain that goes around and just takes like the re the batteries out of remotes. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, 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 and then put it back. And people would be like, are you freaking kidding me? I just put batteries in. That would be my villainy. So that would be my famous villain. Everybody <laughs> would rather be an unknown. But wait, would the unknown superhero have powers? 
if you were an unknown superhero and you're you getting so technical and your this. superpower was to be invisible would you still be a villain like think of any superpower you want that's what came with being your superhero would you pick the superhero but can't villains have superpowers as well not really i don't really know of a, su a villain that has superpowers which one does hello oh yeah i guess so but would like an unknown superhero but let's say that the unknown superhero had the thing I just realized that my mic was way over here. <laughs> Switching audio now. Um. So, if the superhero thing came with your superpower that you wanted, like, what's the most extreme superpower that you wanted? To, like, fly or turn invisible or something? I don't know. That's always such a common question. What superpower would you have? I don't know. We had that one last episode. Yeah, it's such a common question, and it would depend on a lot of things. I mean, flying would be cool, but not everybody, I don't know, flying all the time would be kind of boring if you couldn't weren't strong, like, you know? So, I don't know. How would it be boring even if you weren't strong? I Pe mean, well... People would be like, take I'm me saying, for rides. I'd be like, not today. <laughs> Just go. Is, like, you know, like... <laughs> If you have one, you'd be wanting another one. Like, it's... I don't know. And if you ran a society, would you rather have your society focus on culture or have your society focus on science? Culture, definitely. Technological advances could be made in the cultural society, except they would only surround an artistic endeavor. What right. That? Oh. Right there at the bottom. What? Um, that's fine. I would rather... I would rather have science. I would rather have culture. I would rather have science because who cares if everybody's walking around being a geek and there's no art? Who cares? I can paint. I love art. Have society focus on science. Boom! Rest of the world agrees with me. Loser! Barely. Woo! Would you rather have your blood sucked by a vampire or have your brain eaten by a zombie? Vampire because you don't fully die. Both choices lead to the same state. You turn into a zombie vampire or you die. I mean, yeah, vampires can, like, actually think, talk, and all that other stuff. You're just yeah, a vampire. you're functional. I want to suck your blood. And you could re be pretty B.A. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's what would happen all the time. Would you rather find a book about everything about the past or find a book about everything about the future? So would you rather know about the past or the future? Um, the past. Really? I would want to know the future because it's too... I don't know. I guess you would kind of get super depressed You'd because... You'd be paranoid about everything. I think you would get super depressed because it's like, oh, in the year 20 something, like, especially if it tells you when you die, and it's like, the year after they die, they invent flying cars and everybody can fly around by taking a magic pill. And she's like, oh, no! And you'd be too... <laughs> I think you'd spend your whole life, the rest of your life, trying to change the future or expecting the future. If, yeah, if you don't like it. And then your expectations, you know when you over, like expect something and then it doesn't turn out the exact way you thought it was going to turn out? Mm -hmm. It your expectations. I think, yeah, you would be like... Would That's actually it. pretty smart, young wife of mine. <laughs> but apparently not everybody agrees with you well, because they would rather... not everybody is smart. Yeah, <laughs> stupid people use this site. Stupid. Bunch of idiots. So stupid. Would you rather eat fruit roll-ups or eat fruit by the foot? Oh, man, they're both delicious. Fruit roll-ups. Really? Yes. Do you remember Fruit Roll Loops when they used to have the pizza ones and you could, like, they were all cut out shapes and you could make I think so. pizza? <laughs> I think I remember that. Those were so cool. I love those. Mmm. <laughs> let me see. Eat fruit. I mean, Fruit Roll... I think I'll go with Fruit Roll Loops because, I mean, Fruit by the Foot's kind of like a blandish taste. Fruit Roll Loops, they're like, here, have a majillion cut. Yeah, I like that one. And apparently everybody else agrees. Would you rather have a beer belly or three... What? Ew. Three chins refers to the excess fat under the original chin. Google it if you're still confused. Don't Google it. Don't freaking so Google you, it. So you would be, you could be skinny but have three chins. <laughs> or you could have, I'd rather have, <laughs> have a beer belly because it's probably easier to get rid of. What if it was like one of those crazy big ones where you couldn't hide it? It looked like you were nine months pregnant. Well, I'd rather be called pregnant than having three chins. Uh, I wouldn't. They'd be like, hey, when's it do? It's a beer belly. I didn't pick the chins. And it, and you know what? You'd have to have surgery to get all those chins removed. You could get surgery to get the beer belly removed. Just get the liposuction. Just yeah, but you don't have to. Is what I'm saying with the beer belly. You, you would have to. Get yeah, the chins. the chins. Yeah, let's go with beer belly. A lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people apparently like to have a beer belly. A lot of people probably already. They, do they have probably beer belly. do have one. <laughs> would you rather be a ghost or be a demon? A demon. Really? I don't know. Would, God, you, give, would you give me like cool red eyes? No, you'd be one of those ugly ones with like the warts. <laughs> A uh, ghost, then. I think I'd rather be a ghost, because then that way you could just, like, fly around through business and just be like, woo -hoo! 
Ooh, and then take the batteries out oh, of remote. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Would you rather always watch Nicolas Cage movies or always watch Owen Wilson oh, movies? God, I hate them both. Really? Owen Wilson is the same character in every one of his movies. And That's what the first comment said was, except for Nicolas Cage. They're oh. like, Nicolas Cage is the same exact person in every movie. It's always, I've got issues, so my voice is monotone and my facial expression never changes. Yeah. But I do like Family Man. No, Family Guy. Family Man? The one where he's... Family Man, I'm probably... I don't know. I've never... I don't like it. I, I love him in that. I, I like, like Nicolas like Cage. I Crashers. I'm not a fan of Nicolas Cage at all. I'm going to pick Owen Wilson because I'd rather put up with his shenanigans. Than what are you Nicolas talking Cage. about? They're in the files. Oh, God. Ah, uh, I was going to pick that one. Tricky, tricky. Ooh, I mean, Owen, I mean, it's just like his voice. Oh my God, Hansel's so hot right now. <laughs> Would you rather constantly have wrinkled clothes or never have toothpaste? Um, um, wrinkled clothes. No matter how long you ironed your clothes, they would be wrinkled or you could brush your teeth with nothing but water and a plain toothbrush and no mouthwash. Ew. No, I would I, constantly have wrinkled clothes. I'd rather have wrinkled clothes because I'm. Mean, you would have a jacked off. up mouth if you'd never had toothpaste. Ew, there's 41,000 people going around with nasty, <laughs> nasty roadkill breath. I'm probably like, I don't brush my teeth anyway. I don't! <laughs> what is toothpaste? I don't know. Is it when you grind up the teeth into a paste? Ew. This is the last question on the board. Survey says if you had to destroy a form of writing, would you rather. Have all nonfiction writing up till present destroyed, or have all fiction writing up till present destroyed? Now, nonfiction fiction is like based on real life, right? And then fiction is fake. <clears throat> correct, right? Because I always mess this up. The little thing is, as all the text of one section will be destroyed permanently. However, text in the destroyed section would continue to be kept after today. What? Text in the destroyed section? It wouldn't be destroyed. <sighs> Let's see. Very confusing. Let's find out what fact. It's a very confusing question. What is fiction? Fiction's real. Fiction is oh. literal in the form of prose, short that describes imaginary. Fiction yeah. is. It? So it's okay, made up. And the nonfiction. I would rather have the fiction <clears throat> destroyed because it's fake anyway. But so then it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but it gets rid of everybody's imagination. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna so. pick nonfiction, but I'm so. just I arguing both fiction. sides. I guess you'd consider Lord of the Rings and stuff. Oh, the Hobbit! So you would lose oh. all that, which is kind of depressing. You would lose all of the sci-fi. You'd lose, like, Star Trek, and but you'd lose Star Wars. And if you got rid of all the non-fiction... People would be really stupid. History. People would be really stupid, because you'd lose so all the knowledge. I would rather lose the imagination. So I choose fiction. Okay. You choose fiction? Yes. Oh, that was close. Because I straight up almost clicked nonfiction. <laughs> All right. But uh, you guys know what to do. Put your answers in the comments. If you don't have a Google Plus, then think about it. And I'll think about them with you because that's my superpower. But um, that's pretty much about it. Did you enjoy this episode of Would You Rather? Yeah. Did you like it? Uh -huh. Did you even know about this game before? Um, I had seen it before, yes. Oh, okay. I just don't play it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I like playing it. So, as of right now, it looks like our time is up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment down below whatever you are thinking. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!